right, so we've got, got our mics placed. Uh, I got a drummer in there now. He's going to hit on it. And um, we're just going to turn up the preamp a little bit, get some signal on it, and then we'll try to fix the tone, uh, do a little bit of EQing and a little bit of compression. Um, so first thing I'm going to do is check my gain staging and get a solid signal going to tape. Um, so I'm watching my meter here. I've got my compressor bypass, so it's not affecting my signal at all. All right, so I'm going to start with my EQ bypassed and basically do a couple of the things that I normally do, which is I'm going to scoop out some of the low mids and boost up some of the highs and the presence range, and then also boost up a little bit of the low frequency stuff. So I'm starting out with a, a shelf at 8K, boosting that up a few dB, um, and then a bump right around 3K. This could vary anywhere from 1K up to maybe 5K, depending on the type of music you're doing. Um, and then right around 300, this, this EQ stops at 250, so I'm going to drop that down quite a bit. You can scoop out a lot of that, and uh, it makes a big difference. Um, and then I've got a bump at 80 hertz. Um, so I'm going to try that, by, unbypass it, and see how it goes, see if I like it. Alright, that's definitely a good enough to start starting point. Um, with my EQ, I've boosted the level a little bit, so I'm going to trim it back some. I usually compress, not a real strong ratio. Um, I'm going to try it. Start it out about three to one. I leave a um, fairly, you know, relatively slow attack. Enough, definitely enough to let the transient through. So, generally, no less than 10 milliseconds, especially when I'm tracking, because I don't want to screw anything up. And then just a slow enough release that it's going to kind of slowly pull back to the point where the next hit hits. And that can vary depending on the tempo of the song. All right, so I got it set now. I'm going to take the bypass off and see what it does. Sometimes I like to push it a little hard just to see what, what it's actually doing. Make sure I'm not doing anything too bad. And then I'll back it up so it's just barely, barely giving it a little more punch. All right, now I got to check my gain because I'm losing a little volume with the compressor, so I'm going to make up for that a little bit with my output gain here. All right, and so that's a decent signal on kick in. So I'm going to take that now and work on my out mic, that sub kick. Uh, that one's on a console preamp. Here we go. Got a good signal on it. I'm going to put a little bit of EQ on. I'm going to do something similar, scoop out the low mids a little bit, maybe not quite as much in this case and then possibly give it a little bit of a low end bump and give it some of this 1K stuff for, for a little bit more attack off of it. Uh, but you're not going to get much, much high frequency off of this mic. And I'll kick that EQ in. Don't need to do too much to this because it's already kind of tailored to the sound we want. And then I'm going through this compressor, which is a transient designer. It's a really unusual compressor in that it doesn't really doesn't compress the way most do. It kind of splits the sound up into two, two times and you get the attack and the sustain. So what I want out of this is a little bit more attack and a lot less sustain. And this gives us a much punchier low end. And I just want to make sure I'm not overloading my signal here. So I'm going to trim it back just a hair. All right, I'm going to throw both of these together, get a balance on them that I like. So here's just the kick in mic. Doesn't sound very good on its own, but if I balance it in, add a little bit of low end to this kick. Last thing I usually do is check phase, make sure I'm not, because those two mics aren't lined up perfectly, I want to make sure that they're not uh, canceling each other out any. So I flip the kick out mic, see what it does. Alrighty, 
I think it sounds good as is. So I'm just going to leave it. Next thing we'll do is move on to the snare. Mm -hmm. 